What's up? What it do? What's good? What's poppin'? What's going on? Ooh. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, do not forget to hit that nice, very vibrant red subscribe button. Also, that little thumbs up, like button. Do not forget to do that. Do it, please, because I need the subscribers. <laughs> Today's video is going to be about the title and I know you're looking at the title like what is this girl talking about like how do you even does that that that, that what is what is what you're gonna find out as you're watching that's what it's gonna be about I'm not gonna tell you but you will have to make it to the end because I got some tea for you my week was pretty crazy full of bullcrap full of colorist comments full of stereotypes full of racism that I was not expecting to deal with my last year of high school at all let me start with the first tea okay sip okay matter of fact let me start with the first coffee sip <laughs> the first stupid comment that i had to deal with was something that i overheard okay it wasn't directed towards me actually it basically it was directed towards me because it was directed towards a group of people that look like me so basically some guy and some girl were talking the gay the girl the, <laughs> the girl's gay and the guy was straight they're both black and they made a colors comment about dark skinned girls okay it's not as bad compared to what i usually hear but it was still like what <laughs> okay so the first comment the guy was like oh you know i can't date a dark skin girl i mean they're not ugly it's just i can't date a dark skin girl i mean it's something about them light skin girls it's something about the light skin girl and the, the girl was like she was like yeah i don't think i ever did a dark skin girl i don't know something 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 something, something. so I, I was just sitting in the corner like really this is high school y'all really y'all ignorant <laughs> the second comment was directed towards me and the guy said something very disrespectful we were joking back and forth until he got on um, physical appearances. Me, I don't like to roast nobody's physical appearance, like, at all. Like, that's just off limits for me. Okay, so when it comes to, like, colorist comments, I'm real sensitive to that thing because that's mostly what I was bullied for, my skin color. So, yeah, the guy was, like, the guy with that guy was also black. So, he was saying, oh, he was like, oh, you're so black, you were purple. I was like what i'm brown maria colors so he just kept making disrespectful comments colors comments oh da 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 your black ass da 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 dark skin da 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 i'm like first of all take that colorist comment somewhere else just because you got self hate do not try to rub that off on me that ain't got nothing to do with me so take your colorist comment somewhere else he was like i was joking like i was like that's not how you joke that's not how you joke. You're like, I was just joking, man. Like, da, 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 da. no, 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 no. When it came to the colors comment, stuff like that is not easy for me to get over. Especially since I was dealing with the stuff since I was younger. So if somebody told me, oh no, just be confident. Like, you just gotta believe in yourself. Your skin is beautiful. It's honestly, it's one of those situations where it's like easier said than done to be confident. Like, it don't just happen overnight. Like. That job takes a long time. It took me a long time to finally be confident. And even so, I'm still working on my confidence. Still trying to clear myself of insecurities, you know. But it just takes a long time. Especially if you're, like, being told a lot over and over again that your skin is this, your skin is that, your hair type is this, your hair type is that. Like, I feel like people who weren't bullied over... The same thing I was bullied over would not really understand. They would, they would try to like give advice, this, that, but you do not understand. Period. You don't. So don't tell me to get over it. If you see me get emotional, don't tell me, oh, why are you about to cry? Like, why are you emotional? It's not that deep. It's not that serious. For you. Not that serious for you, because you didn't go through it. I did. <laughs> now, excuse yourself. The third thing that happened to me was from a white guy, and I was really confused when he made that comment. I was just like, I don't know how to react because if I react a certain type of way, I'm gonna be doing exactly what you say that I'm doing right now. So the guy, he said, we were sitting at a table, a group, whatever, fourth period English, 
whatever. And he came. He was like, Suzanne. I was like, what? <laughs> you don't act like a black girl. You're you're a white girl in a black girl's body. And I was like, what? How? He was like, I mean, you don't talk black. I was like, what's talking black? <laughs> like, I don't understand. You don't, he, he was like, you, I mean, you don't act black. I was like, how do black girls act? And I tilted my head when I said, how do black girls act? He was like, oh, you're acting black right now. I was like, because I tilted my head. <laughs> what? Abort. Go back right now. You get yourself deeper and deeper. Anyways, and he was like, he was like, oh, um, it's just black girls. They talk, they talk, what is this called? He, he asked the teacher. He was like, what's it, what is it called when like you clap and you talk at the same time? And she was like, syllables? And I was like, I said syllables when he had asked me. I was like, syllables? You talking about syllables? And he was like, oh yeah, that's how black girls talk. And I was like, I don't talk like that. And then he was like, that's why you don't talk like a black girl. I was like, um, I don't clap when I talk, but I sure do this when I'm mad. I sure do that. Because <laughs> I'm very, I said I'm very exaggerated when I talk. Like, a lot of y'all, when y'all watch my YouTube videos, you see that I do the most. And I do do the most. Like, who gonna stop me? Who gonna do so better? Nobody, thank you. So many thoughts were just going to my head. It was, I was just like, um, what the heck am I supposed to say? Like, I want to snap. But if I snap, I'm just going to be the angry black girl. If I say, oh, please don't say that. That hurts my feelings or something like that. I'm just being that overly sensitive black girl. It's just, I would just be feeling the stereotypes that his people made in the first place. <laughs> so, I was just like, I'm offended. And there was this other... Um, white guy at the table. He he's actually um I think he's Mexican, but he could pass as a white boy. Like his skin, his shade, whatever. Like I would have just thought he was white. Like if I saw him, I would just thought he was white. Whatever. And he was like, oh um I was like I'm offended. That's a stereotype. And he was like, oh that's not a stereotype. That's true. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Let me set myself. You know what? <laughs> they are so disrespectful. Like, if I'm offended, shut up and apologize. That's it. And that's that. Like, and then over time, I was just thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Thinking about it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I want to go back and tell him off and stuff like that. So I told my sister. I told somebody else that I was cool with. I told my sisters, actually. And I told my mom. And I was, just, I was just like, you know what? I was actually really offended by it. I don't, I don't really care at times. But that I really cared about. I was like, you know what? That's, so that, I like, that made me think, like, dang, when he first saw me, I really wonder what he thought. Like, dang, jeez, I hope this girl don't act like a black girl. The next day, actually, or probably like, yeah, two days later, I decided to confront him about what he said, and I actually recorded it. So, after you watch this video, comment down what you thought or what you think about his reply. And we're going to discuss it when we come back. But yeah, it's about yesterday. Do you want to sit down here? No. What you said, like that was really disrespectful about the stereotype thing. I was thinking about it all day. About what? What do you mean? He was like, you know, I don't even remember what I said. He was like, you don't act like a black girl, like because black girls, they like, they like talking I syllables. Was just messing with you. That ain't funny. Yes, it is. I was just messing with you. It's not. Funny. I was playing. It's not. Funny. You thought I was serious. It's not funny. Okay, he was I'm serious sorry. too. I'm sorry. Thank you. I was kidding. Thank I apologize. Cause I deal with that stuff. Like every time. This is messing with you. I'm just trying to get a kick out of you. There ain't no way to get a kick. Because it's not funny to you, miss. It was funny. Of course it's not funny you were to like, me. What you mean? Like, that's what you did. Of course it's not funny to me. It's racist towards me. Like, that's, yeah, very stereotypical. That's like me saying a stereotype about Puerto Ricans. It, I really don't it's like stereotypes. It's not going to be funny. I don't want no stereotypes Neither either, but I. that's an example. I don't really stereotypes about white people. Like, they shoot up schools. I mean, maybe the ones shooting up schools. 
So yeah, that's what he said. And honestly, I, I do not accept his apology. I was following him. I unfollowed him. On um yeah, I unfollowed him. Whatever. So yeah, his apology was really bullcrap. Cause if you could just say, oh, it was funny to me. Obviously, you're not really sorry. Because you wouldn't have said that. Cause that's doing the most. You would have just said, oh, I'm really sorry. Like, I did not understand like what i was really saying I, I just thought it was a joke you know i'm really sorry help me understand or something because that was not a good apology at all and then i was starting to think about what had happened like maybe the third week of school and it gave me a flashback i was like this dude was talking about watermelons with the other white boys so both these white boys were talking about watermelons i was like oh um black people like watermelon and the chicken i'm like who doesn't like i was like Watermelon is not even all that. Like, I don't even really care about watermelon, to be honest. And then he was like, oh, that's because you gotta put sugar or whatever. And I was just like, wow, these, <laughs> wow. They are really ignorant. Like, that just had me really shook. Shook, shaka, laka, laka, laka. You guys remember when I was telling you about these two black people that was making a comment about how they wouldn't date Darkson Girl? Okay, the, the boy. Okay. The, I think it was a few days later or the next week after, whatever. Yeah, it was some weeks after, okay? So, I was, he was high. This boy came to school high and I was just like, this boy is so dumb. Like, who come to school high if I ever would do something like that? I would not come to school. Like, what do I look like? I would just stay home. School gonna kill your high. Hello. We had a test that day, right? And I, he, I was like the second person in the class. He was the first, okay? So, it was just the both of us. And then I walked in class. She was like, oh, I got a test. And I was like, oh. And then he was like, oh, why are you making sex sounds? And I was like. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, come here. We could go make sex sounds in the bathroom later. And I'm like, test. And then he was like. You think I'm joking? <laughs> you think I'm joking? Like, we, we could come on we could make sex sounds later i'm like boy and the, the thing is like i didn't want to say anything i didn't want to tell a teacher because like we live in the countryside it's like the countryside and a lot of confederate flags on trucks that i see so it's probably one of those puppos the police officers who got confederate flags on their trucks so I just felt like if I said something, then a police officer came. Mind you, weed is still illegal in Florida, Florida. So yeah, <laughs> I felt like if I said something to the teacher, teacher say something to the principal, principal said something to the police, police see that he has weed on him. This boy high, don't know what he'll do. The police do something wrong. They'll say, oh, stop resisting, boy die, it's on my conscience. So I was like, you know what, I'm not, because I don't want anything to happen to this black boy, because the police for sure will get away with it. They'll be like, oh, he had weed on him. They're just going to excuse his death, just like that other man that they're trying to excuse his death, because they said that they saw weed in his house, even though that officer broke into his house in the first place, so that do not mean nothing about no weed, because weed had nothing to do with nothing. So, yeah. yeah so that was my situation. I'm like, I'm not going to say anything, because I don't want him to die, cause Police brutality. Yeah, so I just felt like I was in a tricky situation. And he just kept making uncomfortable comments. Here's the post that I posted, like, right after it happened. That's more of what he was saying because i don't remember what's off my hand right now but that is what happened i tried to keep this video as short as possible hope you enjoyed uh, hope you enjoyed today's video I, it, I had to delete a lot of videos on this iphone also if you're the guy that made that stupid comment to me hope you see this video hope it gets awkward when you step into the room and realize that this video is about you because I was like, I, I was I was debating on whether or not I want to show his face but his face gonna be in the video I guess and if you feel uncomfortable try to sue me, go ahead cause you ignorant I think my teacher is so it's, it's, it's just like, dang, I don't know how this man feel about me cause my mama for sure ain't come here legally 
she a citizen now, but for sure she ain't come here legally. <laughs> the heck, she didn't know. He made a stupid comment. Let me tell you what he said. This man said, um, just because uh, you're born here does not mean that you're a citizen. I was like, he was like, there's a difference between what he said. It was something so dumb. I was just like really shook. He was like, there's a difference between immigrants and illegal. Something like that. I don't know. It, just, it was just something so dumb. But anyways, comment down what you think. Comment down what you don't like about me. Don't like about this video. Don't really care. Just add the comments. Add the like button. And thank you for giving me views. I hopefully will soon get paid as we grow together in my on my YouTube channel. Mwah.